how I went from an Xbox Gold to a PC champion. It wasn't easy, but here's the most important part. I am nothing different than you. Guess you, the one watching on a toilet, in their bed, or maybe waiting for the next rank game. I've learned a lot throughout this Rainbow Six journey and I want to share it with you guys because I know there's a lot of people in my shoes wanting to achieve the same things. The most important step in this journey that really made the change is actually one of the first steps so pay attention to it. It's a crucial step on how I went from an Xbox Gold to a PC Champion. Now let's start all the way from the beginning now. Starting off on you know the Xbox casual stage this was when, you know, my first two years of playing Siege, I only played casual, very rarely I would play ranked, but mostly I was just messing around, you know, getting used to all the operators, funny moments, stuff like that. I didn't really think anything too serious of it, and this is when I really started playing with only school friends. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys only play with your school friends as well, because, you know, playing with online people you don't really know doesn't seem to move sometimes. Well, that's basically how it is. Casual only with school friends, just mess around having fun. Then eventually, you know, when you start playing the game a lot, you kind of become naturally good at it. So I went from, you know, now that we're on the Xbox Gold stage, this is kind of where, this is kind of where, you know, we tested our strengths a little bit against people who are, we were a little bit better than. It was mainly just a group of friends that school kind of narrowed it down that wanted to play ranked. Um, we, you know, we would just five stack some ranks sometimes, but Whenever we would lose, it would be stop playing ranked and just go sh straight back to custom games or casual. At the time, I didn't mind it, you know. I was still one of those players myself. But at this point, you know, when we're in the Xbox Gold, I'm kind of just competing with friends uh, with our ranks. You know, my friend is a Gold 1, I'm a Gold 3, Gold 2, you know, kind of competing who can be the highest rank. But the thing was, we only played together in ranked. We didn't really branch out to other people, so when if we didn't have a 5 stack, we wouldn't play ranked. And the reason I'm kind of stressing ranked a little bit more is because if you really want to get better or you want to start improving, casual and unranked are not going to give you the same skill sets that ranked would. So, you know, then eventually time goes on and things start ramping up a little bit. This is the most important stage, I think, out of the, of the career because this is what started to elevate me more. Now that we're at the stage of kind of Xbox plat, my friends were still gold. You know, maybe they got to plat three gold uh, or plat one, stuff like that. But this is the stage where I would get made fun of because I was sweaty at the game, you know, AKA actually like getting pretty good at the game. I was starting to surpass my friends a little bit. They would see me as like the best in the group. You know, I would feel like buttered up by like my teammates saying that was really good. But eventually, you know, there was, I didn't know that there was way better players than me. So I would want to play in ranked more often and they wouldn't want to play. So that's where I made the decision to just kind of step down from playing with my, my school friends all the time. And I actually started playing with more people online. Branching out to people who are more of my rank or better than me online was 100% the best move I could have done. I think I think that's a stage a lot of people, especially in a game like Siege, where everybody has to be on the same skill level, is everyone has to kind of go to the stage of uh, knowing when you kind of outgrow a skill group and that makes a friend group and that makes any sense but this is where my mind shift really started to change of okay if i really want to get better i gotta take this a little bit more serious i knew i had to switch to pc and i had to start playing with way better people than me so now my console days are over it's about 2019 and now i've made the switch the switch that if you have not made already i would recommend it if you can afford a pc but if you're planning on taking your game to the next level i would recommend that you get a pc so at this stage, the first one to three months was honestly the most I struggled with because it was just me trying to get used to PC, like mouse and keyboard, because I was playing a controller all of my life. But what really helped me before I downloaded the Siege is that I used, uh, I played a lot of Fortnite. So getting used to the number keys, the WASD really helped out a lot too. I also recommend for you guys, you know, you can play Valorant, you can do uh, Fortnite, League of Legends, any other game that involves a mouse and a keyboard will help you get to the groove a little bit quicker. So at that time, I really didn't focus on trying to become Bolo in one week. It was mostly just really trying to be like decent at Siege. I wanted to get my lean keys down. I just only focused on my progression. You know, you if you want, if you want some settings to try out, you can try mine, you can try a pro players, but you can use that as a base to work off of to make sure it's on your comfort. You know, some settings that are good for pros are not always going to be the best for you. So now that I'm in a stage of like three months have passed after switching to PC, I'm now like a PC silver. Um, I'm still like solo looking a little bit, trying to get to level 50, all that kind of stuff. So the early, the early stages of PC was, I was in silver for only for a brief moment though. 
eventually like a week later i uh eventually moved over to pc gold now i'm kind of starting to catch up to where i was on xbox um i leveled up pretty quickly to gold because i used the r6 discord which allowed me to get teammates and you know uh communication on the fly so having that advantage of having like a five stack already um definitely helped me get better and boost up a little bit in the ranks so i recommend that you guys can try the r6 discord but that was about like three years ago now i think it's like filled with cheaters and toxic players you can give it a try i would only recommend you play it to intentionally find better players and leave everyone else behind but one of the most important things as well is that i met someone that i actually play rank with you guys might know to this day his name was senvale he's uh if you guys don't know who senvale is he's a streamer high level uh pc player um but overall he had a lot of knowledge uh back then over over how much i had um which really helped me because i was i was playing with people who are better than me and the more you play with people who are better than you especially when you're like plat three and below is super super crucial if you want to get better so eventually me and him left the r6 discord and we started making stacks on our own and that's it just kind of went uphill from there it was a grind for the longest time i was a hard stuck plat three and then plat two but really what the main the main choices i did was is not playing with toxic people that might seem like an obvious thing but as you get higher into the ranks people got egos people who can shoot everybody can everyone could basically like you know shoot shoot fine but it really came down to like if it was easy to work with you so making sure you're always finding new people until you actually settle with someone you like is very very important that's why you don't see like bolo playing with you know anyone that's champion because you know he only likes playing with his kind of group which is where a lot of other people do as well so after grinding and grinding and just getting better i went from plat 3 eventually to plat 1 i was hard stuck plat 1 for a little bit and then eventually hit diamond hitting diamond on pc was probably one of the best achievements in my career because ever since i was an xbox gold i've wanted to hit it and eventually i hit diamond in shifting tides or steel wave it was steel wave i believe when malusi came out it was probably one of the the best feelings in the world i was jumping out of my chair i was so excited and it was it was a really uh, rewarding moment chat was going crazy on stream it was I'll definitely remember for a while but that wasn't the end there the end was all the way down there what i really learned from you know like high platinum to diamond gameplay especially when diamond is like 4100 now it's a little bit easier to get it it's two important things one it's default takes you don't know what i'm talking about default takes it's basically um you know the 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 pushes everybody knows how to do in that rank like what wall to open up what rooms to take um it's very minimal attacks that prevents a lot of voids happening and more consistent pushes out of your team that's why five stacking is the second most important tip is that when you five stack you fill those voids of questioning if your random is going to shoot back or not that's why if you're ever going to solo queue or duo queue do not expect to win as much as you would in a five stack now, like I said, if you're struggling to find people um, that are like pretty high in rank, you're not going to find them off some like looking for groove public posts. I mean, that's where you can start. But the people that are already good at this game in that five stack already have their own groups. That's up to you to be able to find people, add them if they're good, and then find those groups off of those players. But during this time, this is when I really started to go up against big streamers like Bolo, King George, May CJ. Um, whenever how a crazy rank game against them, I would just try my best and my stream would, you know, it, it would bring more name, uh, bring more attention to my name. So my streams grew, my YouTube videos grew as well. And with enough grinding, and I started playing competitive during this time as well, but that's a story for another day, is now I've reached PC champion. Reaching, you know, champion in PC, I think was also, it wasn't as rewarding as Diamond, but it was definitely a good moment, you know, to check it off my bucket list that I've hit the highest rank of this game. But what I really realized that a lot of people think it's hard is that Champion is honestly no different than like Diamond 1. The only difference is, is that obviously the MMR difference, but it's just really about who can five stack the best and just be consistent at winning. In my opinion, any PC, it, as, when you hit like Diamond 2 or Diamond 1, then, you know, you deserve Champion. You just gotta just prove it and win it. 
but I'm not here to brag about me hitting the highest rank. I'm here to show you guys that it's possible for you guys too. Just know that there were a lot of nights where, you know, I would lose the team on a four or five uh, match point ranked. I would just drop zero kills. I would feel like, you know, if I was even like good at this game anymore, but I pushed through those nights and, you know, eventually I got a little bit better at this game. And now I am to where I am today, which is playing competitively. I'm a full-time content creator now in this game. And I just really want to thank you guys for putting me in this position. And that story after, you know, after champion, like what's next for me? Like what's the next uh, achievement? Well, I'm playing competitively right now and I'm in challenger league at the moment too. And I can try to, I can give a story and another, for another time of when I started comp, you know, my advice for people starting competitive as well. But that is how I went from an Xbox gold to a PC champion. This journey has a lot of story to it, but the most important takeaway and this is for anybody, whether it's siege, work, school, or anything you want to complete in life in general. The first step is the most important step, and that is your mindset shift. If your mind doesn't know where you're going, you know, what expectations you have for yourself and what goals you want to achieve, you know, things aren't just going to magically appear in front of you. You got to find a goal you want to do, dedicate to it, and work hard on it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good day. And remember, it all starts with a mindset shift.